We visit one of New York City's most dangerous neighborhoods, and we do it with the commissioner of the NYPD. Yeah, Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell walking the streets of the Stapleton section of Staten Island, where there has been a surge in gun violence, some of it deadly, including a 13-year-old boy who was gunned down last month on a playground. Homicides may be down in New York City, but in this section of Staten Island, homicides are way up. With the commissioner today, N.J. Burkett, live on Staten Island for us. Newt. And Bill, there are few places in the city where residents are living in fear the way they're living in Stapleton. You know, homicides are up 125% so far this year on Staten Island. So the commissioner's making it a top priority where residents say crime is out of control. This neighborhood is dangerous. Samantha Uloa says it's terrifying to live here. The Stapleton section of Staten Island is now one of the most dangerous places in the entire city. She fears not just for herself, but for her adult son, who is mentally ill. I'm so scared something's going to happen to him. I see you have tears. I right. have tears because I love him. I love my baby. The fear is so real that NYPD Commissioner Keyshant Sewell was determined to see for herself. Touring the neighborhood with her top commanders, listening to residents and merchants, elected leaders and community outreach workers, searching for strategies and solutions. They want us here and they want to see more police. They want to have that visible presence walking the streets, interacting with them. In a city where murders are down nearly 14 percent, homicides here have more than doubled, with nine so far this year. There were three shootings this past weekend, and just three weeks ago, a 13-year-old was struck and killed by a stray bullet fired by a 16-year-old. He was playing and having a wonderful time, yeah. and now he's gone. Yeah, and for what? And for what? Because it's the generations, yep. and it's unfortunate, and it has to stop. Dozens of officers are being reassigned to the 120th Precinct, which had been understaffed. 40 additional cops from outside of Staten Island Three lieutenants, five sergeants, 40 police officers under the leadership of a captain who will come out here and assist as well. And community outreach will be stepped up in places like the Stapleton Houses, where the Gerard Carter Center offers teens a refuge and a way forward. Tia Mapp met the commissioner and was practically speechless. It's a special thing because she's a black woman in charge, and that's something that you don't see every day. And I know that a lot of girls and boys and children are going to look up to her and be very proud that she's in charge and know that they can be in charge too by seeing her. And the commissioner does not underestimate the power of being a role model. Now, according to the ABC 7 NY safety tracker, eight of the nine homicides so far this year on Staten Island have happened within the 120th precinct, which covers Stapleton. Not tonight.